today I would like to talk to us about love. Love is such an amazing thing and it's something that God wants us to pursue. In 1 Corinthians 13, the Bible says, pursue love. Although it's amazing when we receive it, it's not always as easy to give it. God tells us to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength, and love your neighbors as yourself. Now, the part where we have to love God, we find it easy most times. But where we have to love our neighbors as ourselves, that can be a little bit complicated. And that's why the Bible tells us to pursue it. Jesus told his disciples that as the Father loved him, he also loved his disciples, and that his disciples should abide in his love. And if they abide in his love, then they will do as he commands them to do. And then it further goes on to say, what I command you to do is to love one another. Now, the other thing that I discovered is that love is a gift and that we should pursue that gift. So it's not something that comes natural to us necessarily, but it's something we have to work on. Love also requires sacrifice. Love is what took Jesus to the cross to die for our sins. And we know that his love was shown in the sacrifice that he made for us to die on the cross. If we have to love others as God requires us to love others, we also have to die to self and have to look at things from God's perspective. The Bible tells us to be rooted and grounded in the love of God. We really need the love of God to be able to practice love with other people. It's easy for us to love those who love us. It's very easy to do. But to love somebody who is abusing you, to love somebody who is mistreating you, to love somebody who is taking advantage of you, it requires the love of God. And so we have to pursue it. We have to be mindful of it. We have to ask God to create his love within us. We have to pray about it. We have to be conscious of it. We have to be deliberate. We have to crucify ourselves, crucify our flesh, crucify our will to be able to practice love the way God wants us to love. Jesus commands us to love because he wants us to reflect himself. God is love. So when we love, we are walking instruments of God's love. We're manifesting God on this earth. When love is built up in us, when love is formed in us, then we are manifesting love to the world. And the Bible says that love never fails. Love is the language of the kingdom of God. When we practice love, we destroy the works of darkness. When we practice love, we trip Satan up because he's expecting us to come back with hate. But when you come back with love, it neutralizes the enemy's plans. It brings the kingdom of God on this earth. This is why Jesus wants us to walk in love. To walk in newness of life is to walk in love. Because he says if we prophesy, if we give food to the poor, all of that is great. We can boast about it. But if we're not walking in the discipline of love, if we're not walking in the gift of love, then it means nothing. When we practice love in difficult situations, we're saying that we have hope that love will work because Jesus tells us that love never fails. And as we saw when Jesus came 
on this earth, his love took him to the cross and he was resurrected. And whatever we do, however we manifest love in all the difficult situations, it will not go in vain. That love will produce fruit. It might take a sacrifice, but it will produce fruit. So don't be wary when you have to love. Don't be frustrated. It's not easy, but let's pursue love so that we will practice God's language on this earth. God bless you. God is faithful.